Hello everyone, welcome back to Doing This channel. Today, we are, today actually, we are going to cover the Karthik grid. Uh, if you, I mean, this uh, this has been requested by a lot of you. So there are a lot, bunch of things in the grid view that has that Kraji has created. So I am going to cover today this, which is the expand row. <coughs> I think this is something we should have. For example, in the purchasing orders. Uh, grid. We would want to show the purchasing order items. For example, if we have an arrow key here that we can click on to find out the purchasing orders, order items for this purchasing order, it will be nice. So that is what we are going to do today. Uh, so yeah, it should look, I mean, it won't look like this. I am going to be showing a grid here when you click on the expand button. So the grid is going to be depend, uh, grid is going to have the purchasing order items of a particular of this purchasing order so first thing is first we have to install the grid so I'm in the advanced uh, directory here so first thing we'll install it and then get back to the code uh, when it's installing okay so let's move up and copy this and paste I don't need the PHP part and this part and install. Okay, it's going to install. So when it's installing, we are going to implement our expand row. So expand row is right here. Click on that, and you will see what you, what needs to be done. Um, uh, I'm going to go with a particular. I have created this beforehand, so I'm going to use that code. Uh, it's really simple to use so I'm going to do that uh, first of first thing is first we have to use the Karthik grid view so um, we don't want the normal grid view I mean the purchasing order index right here so I'm going to use that and the next thing is we are going to use this column this one right here we'll explain the code Okay, and let's, we don't want this actually. It's go, and we don't want this as well. So we will paste it here. So we are going to use the class is the car thick grid expand row. And first of all, it's going to have the value of it. It's going to be null. I mean, it's going to be the collapse row is going to be collapsed. It's not going to be like this. It's not going to look like this when it's first loads. It's going to look like this it's going to look like this so uh, uh, that is that the next thing is we can provide a detail detail property so this is this can we can call a function this is going to be the model model that is being passed here uh, the particular active record the key the index and a column okay so next thing is um, what I am going to do is when you click on the arrow button here that's going to appear here I'm going to show uh, I'm going to filter the grid in the purchasing order items for example we have PO items grid sorry not PO items PO item I'm I'm going to filter I mean I'm going to search only for the purchasing order that has been clicked so this is going to be shown here uh, shown in the grid uh, so to do that what is going on never mind uh, so we want the PO items item search PO item search and we are going to make this property of PO ID if you remember we have a PO ID in our PO items table right here we have that so we are going to make that the model ID which is going to be the PO ID of this particular row and we are going to call upon data group data providers search model and pass the parameters pass parameters in a sense we are going to pass the search models PO IDs has to be this one we don't want to show all the purchasing order items we want to show all the purchasing order items for this particular PO the next thing is I'm going to create a small partial view I'm going to save it as 
underscore pure items. Let's do that. Pure items on PHP. There you go. And of course, I'm gonna copy some. I'm gonna copy the view. No, actually the index. The index of this to this because this needs. Uh, I'm gonna remove this and this. Okay, now that's the, and we don't want the ID actually. So let's click on the ID, and we have the purchasing order item number, purchasing order also we don't want. So let's get rid of that, and of course the action columns we don't want that as well. So we have the PO items uh, partial view. So we are going to we are going to call upon that. So this has to be PO items, PO items and we are going to pass in the search model and the data provider which it needs okay so let's check whether this is done okay it has okay it has been installed correctly and let's refresh and check it out init module mm. what's that i included that what needs to be there? Oh, I need to include this PHX. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, guys, give me a sec. I'll figure this out and I'll come back. Hold on. Hello, guys. I found out the issue. Actually, the issue is not on the code. It's a issue from in because I didn't update my application. It's totally got outdated I installed the newest version of Karthik Grid <coughs> which led me to install the newest version of the Karthik Base uh, Kraji Base uh, so what I did was actually I ran I ran hold on I ran composer update so go to a directory do a sudo composer update which will update all the different 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 uh, modules and you will have a brand new application and it will work with the code that I've written so what I did was again uh, to explain uh, of course oh and I did one thing else as well uh, I'll, I'll explain that you have to change the configuration and add this as a module for example they have said this in the installation and you have said about module setup in the module setup you have to do this in order if uh, you have to do this so put this piece of code in your main config file uh, so that's what i did i went to my main.php backend config main.php and i did add this grid view as uh, a module so that is the only thing that i changed in the code i guess yes and uh, and that's it uh, so what is happening over here is i am passing the person order id and i'm getting the data provider and i'm passing that data provider and the search module to the po items partial view that we have created so that when you redo a refresh you will get this it works nicely so i'm going to create another purchasing order just to check whether it is working properly purchasing order number two and let's add a PO actually this has to be a drop down from your item master PO item 3 config is 12 add another one PO item 4 and uh, do 20 okay and create okay that works so we have two now this has to have no it didn't work one two three four we get all four of them but we don't want all four okay we are getting all four um okay that is not needed uh, so let's check go and check what is wrong uh, so we are just assigning the PO ID properly okay and we are passing that actually we are not passing through the url i mean normally the search function when we pass something we pass it to the url for example if i search po it passes through the url 
but that's not what we're doing we are just assigning the search model pro PoID property the value so we'll let's go to PO item search and find what is wrong actually uh, okay the issue is what it does is it this has a if statement that checks whether we have parameters or not if we don't have parameters and if it is validated this particular thing is valid we are going to return the pro data provider and we are not going to run anything of this none of these will be run so that is the issue here so we are they check whether the parameters are there are there are any parameters are there the parameters are for example when we pass something we have parameters but right now we are not having any parameters we have something like this hold on yes yeah, so because pure this is what we have yes as you can see the number two the person on the number two is there so we have that but now it's not getting filtered out that's because we are not passing parameters and none of this code is running only this is running we are returning the data provider here so only to fix this just comment this out and do this refresh and there you go we get the purchasing orders according uh, purchasing order items according to the purchasing order see I guess purchasing order item 3 and this purchasing order 2 okay I think that covers today's lesson uh, I know it was a bumpy one but that's how it is it's development I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> in a sense beforehand that it have something happens anyways I hope you guys learned something and uh, do share the tutorials and have fun doing it um, and yeah I'll talk I'll see you guys around next time have fun take care bye